Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. I am planting some roses in my garden tonight and I'm so excited. These are a David Austin rose called Jubilee Celebration. They are typically really large blooms. In fact, larger than they bloom when they're in their can. Once they get established in the ground and they start blooming, they're just huge. They're full cupped, really high petal count and their fragrance is just amazing. They get about four by four, so they're not enormous. You don't have to dedicate a huge amount of space for this variety. I'm gonna be planting a trio of them kind of around these birch trunks right here. I think it's gonna be a really pretty texture and color right below the birch trees. Uh, and I did make sure to leave ample enough space though because you want them to get um, equal light on each side of the rose plant so that they really grow evenly. They produce blooms on all sides and you wanna make sure that the airflow is getting to the whole plant as well to cut down on diseases like powdery mildew and black spot. So these do prefer a really sunny spot. So if you can give them six to eight hours of sun or more per day, they'll be super, super happy. These are also a zone five through 10. So I garden in a zone five, which you know, when you plant a rose that's a zone five, it can be a little iffy if they're a grafted type rose. These are actually uh, on their own root, which is really nice. So I know that if we have a weird cold snap or a really hard winter and they die all the way back to the ground, I know that when they come back from their roots, it'll still be a Jubilee celebration rose. But it's always a good idea on both grafted roses and own root roses like these ones to mulch them up in the winter time. So put some dry leaves or mulch up over the crown of the plant, which is typically where the plant meets the soil level. And that way it provides a little bit of extra protection for the crown of the plant. I'm going to be adding a little bit of Biotone starter fertilizer to each hole. It's got mycorrhizae in it. It's really good for root development. Um, so I'm gonna be adding a little bit into the bottom of the holes. And then I also like to scatter some around the uh, edges of the holes too for the roots that are along the edge of the root ball. And then in consecutive years, I'm not gonna use this today, but in consecutive years, this is what I'll be using. So usually about March, when they start to bud out and the leaves start to come out, I'll use a little bit of rose tone. And then I will fertilize them a second time, typically like mid-July, right after they're done with their first bloom cycle and they're getting ready to go into their second bloom cycle. A little extra hit of fertilizer that time of year helps them just really produce a lot of blooms. They're just not a ton of maintenance. And maybe to me they're not because I love them so much, um, but they're just a really great plant. So I'm just gonna start planting them. seeing these roses go in and maybe learning a little bit about David Austin roses and one of the varieties that I love so much. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.